We arrived in sunny Melbourne, ready for our weigh-in on hardcore promotions tomorrow night for the uh, WBC International title. So um, we're going to bring you along for the journey. I've got about two kilos left to do. We're going to head over to the sauna, get that done, and then head to the weigh-ins. I'm hoping to show all of the ups and downs throughout all of the weekend. So um, it shouldn't be too heavy a cut. Um, but, and I'm sure that Kieran will give a little bit of insight as to what we do on the way through. Everything's done professionally and in the best manner, so um, like I said, it shouldn't be too rough, but just get this last two kilos done and then head to the weigh-in for the fun part. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> He's hungry. People keep always asking me about, like, are you ready for the fight and stuff? Oh, what they keep saying. Yeah, like, oh, are you ready? Like, are you, are you keen to fight? Yeah. And then... But in, nah, not really. I don't really care. This yeah, is well, what nah. this is what I care about. <laughs> <laughs> no, and honestly though, like people are like, oh, tomorrow are you keen for you? I literally don't think about it. I, don't, I spend the last eight weeks thinking about it. The last thing I want to think about is fighting somebody right now. <laughs> All I want is <laughs> to go and drink some water and eat some ice cream. Uh, so there's, there's the answer. No. Are you prepared for tomorrow? No. Will I be there? Yes. Will I win? Yes, anyway. <laughs> oh. oh, not down here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good. Can't sleep, yeah? Try. Yeah. Can see your room? Yeah. You've got to get, get used to this camera business. It's just here, 302. We got everything we need for the weigh-ins here. Everything I need to cut weight in here. We need to go and get this last little bit done. We'll find out what we are. I probably won't check till we go to the sauna thing and just run with it from there. Just rather just know then and just do it. I think Kieran says he's waiting downstairs, so we'll shoot down. We'll get in the Uber and we'll go. This is where Sean inserts the elevator music. Do you know what, Kieran, Kieran can have anything, right? Yeah. And the camera can get this too, right? Yeah. This is how much of a freak this dude is, right? He can, he can have anything in the whole business lounge. Comes back from his little trip to the counter thing, right? He's got black coffee. <laughs> he drinks black coffee, that's yeah. fine. He's got two boiled eggs and two dry pieces of toast. Dry? Just no butter, nothing. Oh. Raw, dogs, raw dogs, two boiled eggs and two pieces of toast. What the fuck? Guy, man. I mean, I would eat that, but I would fuck, man. Not even any beans. Oh, now, now, it's no secret that combat sports athletes cut weight. Some do it dangerously, some do it safely. At the end of the day, everyone does it. Um, obviously, to make a bit of an advantage on the day. He doesn't have too much to cut today, which is good. Um, sometimes for whatever reason, you can find yourself in a situation where you have a little bit more to cut, but luckily for Max, he's good. So all within a safe limit, he'll be able to cut the weight, um, go to weigh in, rehydrate, eat. I won't tell you what he'll weigh tomorrow, but <laughs> that's, that's a secret for only us and him. Uh, but no, he's, yeah, he's gonna get there completely fine. And um, we've got the weigh in in about, in a couple of hours now. It's just better to be safe than sorry and get it done early. Roll on through to the weigh in and we're good to go. We'll just sit here and wait. This is good for my ADD. I can intently focus on one thing. Okay, so this the, the, the fight tomorrow night is for the WBC international title, which uh, when not if Max wins that, that puts him instead to win a world title or to fight for the world title. And so that, I guess, for the gym, for the gym being more you, for Three Lions, where Maxi was originally from, with his dad Dave, who's here with us now. But for both of our gyms, it means a lot because um, 
I mean, it's to win a world title is, is, you know, obviously one of the highest things that you can do in the sport. And so for both of our gyms, yeah, it, 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 it means heaps. And, and the cool thing is, is that it starts to build a legacy for that fighter and that boxer because there's other world titles they can win, they can defend that world title. And the beauty of it is that Max is so young that he can just keep going, keep fighting. And it's big in the scheme of things for everything that we have in the future, but yeah. I reckon we boxes on, he might just be on it. His boxes off. He jumped on the first scale on the battery with Dyna said 65.6 and he went. <laughs> I think his eyes lit up, he's like, fuck. I go drink a litre of water. Max is all good to go. He's made weight by we've got two sets of scales, which is always good. Then we move him around a little bit. He's he's either I think maybe 100 grams under, could be 200 grams under, it just depends. It's hard to tell with uh, bathroom scales sometimes, but he's happy, he's done. We've got an hour, an hour until we go to the venue, so plenty of time to spare. It's better than rushing. How you feel, Maxi? Good. <laughs> Glad it's done. But yeah, not too bad. Glad it's done. Whoa. So close. As we record this, what's your favourite biscuit? Yeah. With Tim Tams. Tim Tams? Yeah. Do you know what I always like? Australia don't seem to appreciate Oreos. They always go and sell for like a dollar, and then I'll grab like five packs and just smash all of them. But they've come out with all these sick flavours. Tell me that doesn't sound gangster. Yeah. But do you know what else are good? If you've ever never if you've never tried these and put them in the microwave before that'd be oh. good though you know i could never make a video that doesn't have swearing it would just be like <laughs> heaps of bleach gabrielle's one's a pg mine are r18 plus okay we're on wait so now we're all set up in the hotel room we're ready to go we're just about to freshen up then we'll head in the uber down to the weigh-ins the weigh-ins start officially at 5.30, but I reckon I'll be waiting about 6, so I've got everything I need. So we're off. This is the fun part. Conference is all done. Pinky's sneaking in. Come. Pinky's here. For those who don't know, Pinky. Just some some blo some bloke off the street who does Muay Thai. Yeah, no. no, I'm, I'm sure anyone. I'm, <laughs> I'm not really. I'm sure anyone who does Muay Thai knows Pinky. Um, shout out the podcast. This is gonna be like a vlog for the YouTube oh, cool. type thing. Oh, so sweet. we're going to vlog the whole weekend. Um, yeah, if you don't know who I am, um, I talk a lot, but got a podcast, Ring Lover Podcast, hit it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool this weekend, 
I'm lucky enough to have um, my dad here as well. You can pan over to my dad. Yeah, uh, boy. Pinky and my, yeah, my uncle John's coming tomorrow, so a few people coming from down from the gym. So um, we're in Melbourne, but not away from home. So yeah, conference is done, weigh-ins done, done all the hard parts now. So just refuel, and then tomorrow we'll jump in and get it done. Sweet. Oh, ready for some Thai food. Let's do it. Stir fried options because it's a bit more. But not as, as deep, not like deep fried. What do you want? Oh, you want I need, I need um, like one of them. Three, one of them. Three. I can't yeah. say which ones. So we've got most of the fluids done and um, had the first proper solid meal. I just had some like stir fried chicken with rice. I've tried not to eat too many vegetables just because. <clears throat> a lot of fibre after you've weighed in can sometimes slow down your digestion. So I've tried to, I've had some faster carbohydrates, obviously alongside all of my fluids. And then um, I've had some, a protein source with some more complex carbs and we'll just keep on repeating that process all the way through till bedtime, chill out. Um, I'll actually probably read a book. I brought a book with me, I've been reading. I know people who've known me for a long time would probably be shocked by that, but yeah. I'm gonna probably read a book before I sleep you tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the shocked I can read it. will probably go backwards as I have more fights. The more I get hit in the head, my reading age will probably get. Do you get older or younger? What's that? Your reading age? Will it get older or younger? Because um, surely there's like an optimal, optimal age of reading, right? Does that sound dumb? Or do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's sort of, like yeah. you're gonna reach, you're gonna reach a point where you get to a certain age, and your reading gets worse, right? Yeah, I think that's like 75. <laughs> and then if it's too young, if it's too young, your reading age is gonna be poo as well. Here we go. Basically, my reading age is either three or 73, and there's no in between because I get punched in the head for a living. So. <laughs> Reading's not my strong suit, so we'll be reading more slowly. But yeah, I digress. I know about food, and that's what I've got to eat. Protein, <clears throat> and simple carbs before, and now protein with a bit more complex carbs, and we'll keep switching between the two, alongside the, the fluids as well. So that went down a treat. It's always nice post weighing to relax for a little bit and then uh, wind down and do the same tomorrow and uh, then hide back up again for the fight so yeah I'm gonna throw together a little dessert not gonna go crazy with it but I've got some dessert stock like we were saying more quick carbs so a little bit of ice cream a little chocolate bar our plan the Snickers we got dairy milk as well so, obviously I'm not going to eat all this, but a little bit of quick carbs before bed for dessert. Boom, boom, boom. Hard earned. And coconut milk. Coconut water, sorry. Keep rehydrating. We'll throw it together. Boom. Just a little bit. Can't go crazy with this one. If I go crazy with this one, I'll feel sick. But I know it doesn't look like much, but when you haven't eaten this in like, was it six weeks? This is like heaven. Like I said, this is gonna go first, but this is just a little treat. Can't stress that enough. Don't eat too much of this before you fight. Just, just, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, chill out time, then bedtime. A lot of this is just gonna be me eating heaps of food and then like 15 minutes of me fighting. So I hope everyone's prepared for that. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So it's basically a food vlog where somebody just like beats people up at the end. Which to me sounds like a great vlog, so that's why we're making this. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be able to... But... That's something else. 